Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET taking a first look today at the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide. You could call it the successor to the MyTouch 3G slide, but it's much, much more advanced than that because there's 4G, a dual core 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, and Android 2.3 Gingerbread all on board. It also has the most recent version of HTC's Sense3 UI. Like all other smartphones in the MyTouch family, this one is made by HTC, as I mentioned. It's got these typical brushed metal accents around it that make it pretty darn heavy. It's six and a half ounces. It's got a 3.7 inch WVGA Super LCD screen, which is pretty nice and bright. There are five buttons here beneath the screen. They correspond to home, menu, back, and then there's the genius button on all the MyTouch phones. And this one calls up voice commands and voice to text features. There's also an optical trackpad here that doubles as a select button. Given that it's called the slide, there is a slide out full QWERTY keyboard. It's nice and spacious and it has some handy indicator lights and a few shortcut buttons on it. But I wasn't crazy about the keys, which are pretty flat and it slowed down my typing quite a bit. I've definitely felt much plusher keyboard buttons that really bounce back when I'm done pressing them and I prefer that. There is a front-facing VGA camera here for video chats, but the real story is this camera on the back. It's an 8 megapixel camera lens, there's dual LED flash, and it has support for 1080p HD video capture and playback. It also has a few other goodies that lead HTC to call it the most advanced smartphone camera there is. For example, there's a special lens and a light sensor that emulates the way that digital cameras work with light. There's a ton of fun software inside that lets you switch all sorts of shooting modes and settings. So for example, there's Sweep Shot, which makes a smooth panorama. There's Burst Mode, and that takes five photos in quick succession. And then there's Clear Shot, which is for HDR mode. There's also Portrait Mode, Blink Mode, Smile Mode, all of which have different settings and properties. I thought that the outdoor photos were really good, but I still had some problems with some of the indoor shots, and those low-level lighting solutions did not work quite as well as advertised. Granted, I really haven't had the phone so long at this point, so I will be updating my written review with more tests and some comparisons with other camera phones, including the iPhone 4. So back to this, HTC also claims that there is no shutter delay, which I did not find to be the case at all. Overall, the camera is pretty good and the options are definitely more exciting than normal. It's really fun to use, but I wouldn't say that it's quite on par with the digital camera. Not yet, anyway. The phone itself is a nice little package that can definitely compete with the big boys. It'll cost you $199.99 with a new two-year contract. So I think that's a pretty good competitive price for this caliber of phone. Once again, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt with CNET. This has been the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide. I've got many more details on my full review on CNET.com, so check it out.